During hurricane season, while people crowd the highways to escape the path of the storm, the hurricane hunters board a plane and fly into the storm. Their mission? To gather crucial data about the storm by dropping instruments called drop sons. We drop approximately 30 to 35 of them every storm. And those weather instruments are kind of like weather balloons in reverse. They're collecting temperature, humidity, uh, wind speed, direction, and pressure. The Hurricane Hunters debuted in 1944 during World War II. They were initially known as the 3rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron, later being renamed to the 53rd Weather Reconnaissance Squadron in 1945. They tracked weather in the North Atlantic between North America and Europe. After the war, Hurricane Hunters became a permanent fixture in the U.S. Air Force in 1951 serving as a long-range weather reconnaissance unit based in Bermuda and England. Today, they're now based in the southern U.S. and Puerto Rico. Their main mission is to track and measure tropical cyclones. The hurricane hunters take several trips across the eye, and the mission can last 8 to 10 hours. Some planes fly above the storm. Others brave the hauling winds, blinding rain, and powerful up and down drafts before finally reaching the eye. Basically painting a vertical profile of the storm and we send them back to the National Hurricane Center for analysis and to improve the forecast. And with a more accurate forecast, meteorologists can do more to warn the public about the approaching storm. Reporting for AccuWeather, I'm Dajia Swad.